Since the launch of the first satellite in 1957, ushering in the dawn of the space age, the future has only grown brighter. In the 66 years since, rapidly advancing technology and research has widened our understanding of the universe and optimism in our place among it. Yet that same understanding has also been tempered by cold, hard reality. The more we've learned, the more we've realized just how long and arduous the road ahead truly is to fulfill that glorious future we were all promised. To such a point where some might say it's impossible. Yet there are some ambitious groups attempting to bring the stars into reach, and one of them has the remarkable goal of not only sending the first probe to another solar system, but sending back the first clear images as well, and doing it all with a craft moving at a fifth the speed of light. This is Breakthrough Starshot, a billionaire-backed, genius-led, multi-generational gamble that you may just witness in your lifetime. This secretive project plays host to some of the greatest minds in science and business alike, and yet you've probably never heard of it. So what actually is Breakthrough Starshot? What are their goals and who are the masterminds behind this ambitious project? And can they really reach another star system with modern technology? Let's explore this new frontier together. To understand Starshot, you need to understand the force behind it, Breakthrough Initiatives. Founded in 2015 by billionaire Yuri Milner, who made his money with Russian internet technology, this scientific program exists for the sole purpose of finding alien life outside of Earth. To this end, the program is divided into three distinct projects, equally ambitious in nature. Breakthrough Listen, a telescope effort to scan over a million stars in a 10-year period to search for artificial alien radio and electromagnetic signatures, Breakthrough Watch, a joint venture with NASA itself to build a probe designed to search the subsurface oceans of Saturn's moon Enceladus for life. And finally, Breakthrough Starshot, perhaps the most ambitious of all, designed to send a robotic probe to our nearest interstellar neighbor, Alpha Centauri. Billionaires should do have interesting hobbies. Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars with SpaceX, Jeff Bezos aims to build giant orbital stations via Blue Origin, and Richard Branson wants to make spaceflight tourism so cheap that anyone can afford a ticket. We're going to space. Thanks to Virgin Galactic. It's not much of a surprise to see that Yuri Milner has his own agenda. And believe it or not, he's not the only billionaire behind it. Of the three breakthrough projects, Starshot in particular has attracted the attention of Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta and founder of Facebook. Not content on letting all the other tech billionaires take over space before he can, Zuckerberg took on a founding role in Starshot, as a matter of fact. And while the full extent of his contributions isn't known, he's likely a major financial backer. So what can all these billionaires accomplish? Let's break down exactly how Starshot works, where it is now in the 10 years since its inception, and what the billionaire genius minds behind it are actually cooking up behind the scenes. And of course, what it truly means for humanity among the stars to send its first probe to a foreign solar system. Breakthrough Starshot was founded with the goal of performing a robotic flyby of the Alpha Centauri system. This mission could allow a small probe to capture photos and other data sets that would be of monumental scientific value. After all, this would be the first interstellar expedition ever conceived. Unless, of course, you believe that one nuclear-propelled manhole cover beat us to the punch. I digress. The prime interest is Proxima Centauri b, an Earth-like exoplanet in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. That might sound like a lot of nonsense, but all that is to say that this planet and its star have a high likelihood of hosting life, or at least signs of life. Given that our only understanding of how life develops comes from this planet with its unique position in the solar system that allows for liquid water to form and host life, stable orbit around a star, and balanced day-night cycle, the significance of exploring another planet that not only fits that criteria, but also happens to be our nearest cosmic neighbor cannot be overstated. Proxima Centauri b might not have life, but the only way to know for sure is to make a mission happen. How soon? Try 30 years. That's right, no magic materials of the future or incomprehensibly long and ambitious timelines like many sci-fi concepts, this remarkable project could grant humanity a direct window into a star system 4.34 light years away within a mere few decades, all using modern technology that exists right now. Starshot is able to achieve this with some pretty smart engineering. The probe itself, called Starship, is a nanocraft only a centimeter long in the center of a 4x4 meter sized solar sail made of graphene. With proportions like this, a focused beam of light caught by the sail could accelerate the extremely low mass craft to nearly 20% the speed of light within less than an hour. At those speeds, Starship could reach Alpha Centauri within 30 to 40 years and take 4 years to send back data. Our first direct and local images of another solar system, and whatever lies in it, could come before the end of the century. The laser system is envisioned as a large ground installation, a phase array that could accelerate an entire fleet of starships one by one, 
sending an armada of cheaply manufactured probes toward Alpha Centauri. But there are some problems. As it happens, the phased array poses the most significant technical challenges to the project. Not only would it be the most expensive part, but the way in which the array is built and directs the light poses some big problems. Light propulsion requires an enormous amount of power. A laser with a gigawatt of power, approximately the output of a large nuclear power plant, would only provide a scant few newtons of thrust. Already, the energy requirement to launch even a single chip is looking like an extremely expensive prohibitor. Starship aims to compensate for that power cost by having a low mass, weighing in at only a few grams. The camera, computer, communications laser, a nuclear power source, and the solar cell would all be miniaturized to fit within a thumbnail-sized craft. But in addition to this, those same tiny components would need to be incredibly strong, engineered to endure the extreme cold vacuum of space, acceleration to nearly a quarter the speed of light itself, and any space dust the craft might collide with on its multi-decade journey at extremely high speeds. You can imagine why Starshot intends to send hundreds of craft rather than a single one. Yet even if the engineering pencils out, the phased array still has significant technical challenges that cannot be overcome with good math. Atmospheric diffraction risks interfering with the laser output if they were beamed from the ground up. A solution would be building the array in space. That would substantially increase the cost of hardware. As a consequence of these issues, Starshot has been relatively quiet over the past few years, but we know they're making progress seeing as they're already launching test articles into space and gaining valuable data that could be used for development. 105 prototype star chips were sent to the International Space Station, providing some proof of concept for the mission. There's no denying that the project still has many years ahead of it, with the first launch date for final flight-ready probes estimated for 2036. If that timeline holds and the laser infrastructure is complete by then, assuming the probes take 20 years to reach their destination, and another 5 to bring back the data, then we could possibly expect our first close images of an alien star system as soon as 2061. Not a bad timeline for something so cutting edge. If the concept proves viable, it could lay the groundwork for future interstellar travel as well, validating technology that could send more probes and even people across the stars. With founder Yuri Milner estimating a final cost of $10 billion, this bold plan is far from cheap. But to Yuri, the mission is worthwhile, and that mission has attracted some of the top minds in science, including the late Stephen Hawking and Harvard astrophysics professor Avi Loeb. And while Hawking died in 2018, dealing a huge blow to the intellectual power behind the project, work is still ongoing. Ultimately, Breakthrough Starshot, in its current phase at least, is more of a research project than anything else. A full mission is still years away, and right now the main goal is to finalize a proof of concept rather than launch a real mission. But as long as the billionaires backing it keep their vision and continue to mature this promising technology, Starshot may just achieve the breakthrough that it's looking for and deliver our first message to the stars. Thank you for watching my take on this project, when while it certainly might seem like a long shot, in fact the longest shot in history technically, it is still important to educate and inspire more people about incredible projects like this and the people behind them. If you enjoyed this video from me, don't hesitate to drop a like, those help me out a lot, and follow to stay in the loop. Either way, I'm sure I'll see you star side.